What are you doing? That, yeah, like a racing robot. Yeah. Uh, we've had some problems that it won't go straight. It keeps curving down the hallway. So what do you think the problem is? What are you trying to do to fix it? We're putting on some more wheels. We put a wheel on the, some wheels in the back. And we're putting some wheels on the side to help it straight. There, I fixed that problem. Explain to me what's going on on the screen here. We use this program in the robot. You add, you drag these over, and then you can set them here to make a move. And you can add these, the sound ones. You can make them talk at the end or the start of your before your robot moves. You can add, if you go into here, you can add uh, smiley faces, stuff like that while it's running. To uh, uh, race with other people, and we're hoping to come in first with our robot. So we're trying to make it real fast and make sure it doesn't curve to hit the walls while it's going. Three, two, one, go! This thing, it's our bat there's a battery on the bottom. This is our screen. Once we program it off the computer, it goes on to the screen. Connect this thing. It pops up here. And then you just have to hit the orange button. Make it run. Make it run. So I give you a good idea and then you can kind of tinker with it. And we can use this to pick different settings. Like if we go into here, you pick different ones like software files. These are all our run things to make it run. Power cables. So these two we plug into the front. And we get to pick which ones we want to have. So we select A and C. Because those are the two cords that are plugged in. And then we plug them into our motors to give them power. We talked about some places that you might use robots. Does anyone have a If you're building like cars or something, you Wait, need something bent, you have to have robots to do the work. No. Robots are everywhere now, aren't they? Yeah, pretty much. Parkland School Division, where the world opens up.